Hi, this is Samantha Whitfield, the food and beverage manager here at the Maxwell Club. Today we're going to be showing you five essential sauces for your tailgate for Super Bowl to get you ready for a good start. Let's get started. First off, we're going to start off with a homemade honey mustard sauce. You're going to need half a cup of Dijon mustard, half a cup of honey, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and salt and pepper for seasoning. All you have to do is just combine all your ingredients in a bowl together. Love Dijon mustard. It's got that good spice. Gives it a bit of a tang for you. So that's your going to be your Dijon mustard. I got the honey. With honey, you can go with all natural or you can just use your run of the mill honey. It doesn't matter. I eat all organic, so of course mine's organic. Just continue to combine that in the bowl. A little bit of mayonnaise. Got our fresh squeezed lemon juice. And a little bit of salt and pepper for seasoning. And all you gotta do is whisk this together or stir it together until it's well incorporated. And the perfect pairing for your tailgate party today is gonna be the homemade honey mustard with some crispy golden chicken tenders. A crowd favorite everywhere, any kind of tailgate. Can't go wrong. Kids love chicken tenders. And there you have it, homemade honey mustard sauce. Next up on our list of essential five sauces for your Super Bowl is a quick chipotle aioli. For this recipe, you're gonna need two chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Reserve their excess sauce for later. One cup of mayonnaise. Get that mayonnaise on out of that cup. You are gonna need fresh squeezed lemon, about a half of a lemon. And two teaspoons of olive oil. Now you can put this in a blender to get it blended up and well incorporated, or you can use an immersion blender, whichever one you have handy. Today we're going to be using our Hefty Defty Immersion Blender. And you're just going to do this until it's well incorporated, just like all the other sauces. And there you have it, chipotle aioli. All right, next up we're going to make a homemade avocado ranch dressing. We're going to start off with three-fourths of a cup of fresh sour cream followed by a fourth of a cup of, again, mayonnaise. You're gonna need one fresh whole avocado for this. To time it up, I went ahead and molded mine up. You're gonna need one teaspoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of ranch dressing seasoning. Again, very easy. Just mix it all together to incorporate until it's all Mix together properly. And there you have it, fresh avocado ranch. And my favorite pairing for our chipotle aioli and our avocado ranch is going to be our world famous southwestern egg rolls. Seasonal, crowd favorite, just pop them on the plate, and there you go. Next up, we're going to make a very delicious yum yum sauce. There's a little bit of a good bit of ingredients recipe, so I'm going to name them all first for this video. Mayonnaise, ketchup or tomato paste, rice wine vinegar or water, sugar, butter, and a blend of paprika, garlic powder, and salt. First up, we're going to put the mayonnaise in our bowl, followed by our ketchup or tomato paste. I don't keep tomato paste in my cupboard, so ketchup is a good substitution. I don't keep rice wine vinegar either, so put my water in there for a good consistency. Our sugar, melted butter, and our blend of salt, paprika, and garlic powder. And again, you're just gonna mix until it's well incorporated, until there's no lumps and they're perfectly mixed. There you have it, yum yum sauce. And our suggestion for this pairing 
is gonna be our awesome spring rolls. Yet again, another crowd favorite. Just get it ready, put it in a bowl. Serve it up and then you're done. Last but not least of our five sauces, a quick homemade marinara sauce. For this recipe, you just simply need eight ounces of tomato sauce, either one clove of fresh minced diced garlic, or you can substitute an eighth a teaspoon of garlic powder, three to four basil leaves, finely diced or chopped. I prefer fresh, it has a better potency to it. And two tablespoons of fresh olive oil. Again, simple, mix, incorporate. And look at that, quick marinara sauce for your tailgate. One of the great things about marinara sauce is it pairs with a number of things. You can use your favorite bread, toast it up in the oven, mozzarella sticks, or anything that's gooey gooey on the inside. Today we're just going to pair it with some simple, my favorite, bread toasted with olive oil. Simple, easy, there you go. I hope these recipes help you with your tailgate. Thank you so much from all the staff here at Maxwell Club. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook comment and share for future events, and I hope you enjoy your tailgate.